we were seeing the thickest fog out of the entire state across the Bay Area early this morning. So I kind of wanted to just take a step back. First of all, explain why fog forms and the types of fog that we're seeing. Again, early this morning, as you can tell, the Bay Area, definitely the most widespread, the thickest of the fog. This is our view literally from space. So yeah, the fog was so thick that you can see it from space. You'll notice, though, there's two different areas of fog. The one I'm standing on that's coming in from the coast, from the marine layer, and then the one farther inland. The one farther inland has just begun to develop over the past several days. This is known as Thule fog. Thule fog basically is just the fact that Thick, dense fog forms after a storm system moves through. When there's moisture on the ground, that cold air moves over top of it. The fog forms, again, likely less than a quarter of a mile for a lot of the Thule fog formation. It can only happen on calm and clear nights, though. So, yes, that's our inland areas. That's the reason that they are so foggy because of the Thule fog that we are going to continue to see throughout, I'm sure, the next several mornings because there's still going to be a lot of moisture on the ground. But what you notice along our coastal communities, this is not the Thule fog. This is not the radiation fog. This is known as advection fog. This is the marine layer that is literally just being brought in by winds. So advection fog is all about winds moving over a colder surface, and it doesn't necessarily have to be on a calm, cold, or quiet night. It happens in the summertime most often when we see that marine layer. The reason that we're foggy in the summer is because of invection fog. The reason that we're foggy in the winter normally is because of radiation fog. So it's really interesting that because we're in the fall, we're not in summer or winter right now, we're seeing a little bit of mix of both radiation and invection fog to kick off this morning. And I'm sure this is gonna be the case for a lot of mornings this upcoming week. So just something to keep a very close eye on. Hopefully you learned a little bit about why it's so foggy in the Bay Area. And next time you look outside, you can kind of figure out for yourself, hey, is this advection fog? Is this the marine layer? Or is this radiation fog, the Thule fog developing in the Central Valley?